In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the top three class setups for the SCAR 17 here in Call of Duty Warzone. So I hope you guys like the classes and enjoy the video. So what's going on ladies and gents my name is arbuckle welcome back to another video today we are once again back on call of duty warzone and i wanted to share with you guys the top three class setups for the fn scar 17 assault rifle now i understand that this isn't one of the more popular weapons to use in warzone but for those of you that do use it i wanted to give you three different setups that you can use that hopefully you guys will be able to do well with based on your specific play style. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys a rushing SCAR class setup, a very defensive SCAR class setup, and then an overall setup that's good from both uh, close range and long range for, for those of you that want the best possible setup. So uh, hopefully you guys will be able to pick from one of these and, uh, and do really well with them. Uh, what you're gonna be watching in this video is me demonstrate what each of these weapons plays like in a private match against veteran bots. So keep in mind in Warzone, it is gonna take a little bit longer to take players out. I just want wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration of how each of these weapon plays so that you guys can kind of pick and choose from which one that you want to use. So hopefully you guys enjoy these class setups and enjoy this video. So let's jump into it. So we're going to start off with the rushing class setup for the SCAR. If you guys take a look at the stats that we're going to get with this specific class setup, you guys will see that we obviously get a massive boost of mobility, since obviously that's going to be the main focus here. We want good movement speed. Uh, we also get a pretty nice boost to accuracy. And I will say that one thing I noticed while testing out this class setup is that it surprisingly still does well for medium to long range, which we generally don't see with rushing class setups. And I think that's just because the SCAR generally has pretty good accuracy and can do well, uh, has pretty high damage. And, uh, and even though this is the rushing class setup, you should still be able to do pretty well uh, from those medium to long range gunfights. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, we're not going to be using a muzzle. Generally with these weapons, we use the monolithic suppressor, but with the rushing class setups, we keep that off to use that attachment elsewhere. The barrel that we're going to be using is the ForgeTac CQC Pro. So with this, we're getting aim down sight speed as well as movement speed, giving us a really nice boost to mobility here. So again, that ForgeTac CQC Pro barrel. The laser that we're going to be using is the 5MW laser. So this is going to give us hip fire accuracy as well as sprint to fire speed, which are two really, really useful things when rushing into buildings or around corners. That hip fire accuracy will allow you to start shooting and, uh, and not really have to aim before hitting some of your shots, as well as the sprint to fire speed will help you get those shots off first. So this will really help you to win a lot more of those gunfights that you're not really planning on getting into. So again, the 5MW laser. We're not going to be using an optic. We're keeping the optic off the Russian class setup. This will slow our aim down sight speed, and, uh, and we really don't want to hurt that too much since we are trying to play really aggressive, so no optic. The stock that we're using is the FTAC collapsible stock. So again, we're getting more movement speed and ADS speed, giving us a massive boost to mobility. This FTAC collapsible stock is really what's going to boost the movement speed on this SCAR because this is a pretty massive weapon and will slow us down with the standard setup. But with this collapsible stock, you're getting rid of pretty much the entire back end and allowing you to move pretty quick. So that's the stock we're going to be using. The underbarrel that we're going to be using is the Commando Foregrip. So we're getting recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability here, and we're losing movement speed, just a very small amount, but we're getting a nice boost to accuracy, range, and control. So the main purpose of the Commando Foregrip is to really help you from those medium to long range gunfights, just in case you have a situation where you run into something like that with the rushing class setup. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be meant for that, but the Commando Foregrip will help you out a little bit when it comes to those situations. And last but not least, the ammunition that we're going to be running is the 30 round mag. So this is an absolute essential uh, with the SCAR, as most of you guys know, ammunition. It's always important to run the highest round mag you can. Um, and the SCAR tends to be one of those weapons that uh, runs out of ammo pretty quick. So having the 30 round mag will make all the difference. This weapon is really powerful and you should be able to do well with this thing. So I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with the rushing class setup. If you guys have any questions about this specific class setup, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. So let's jump into the very defensive class setup. So if you guys take a look at the stats for this specific class setup, you guys will see that we get an absolutely massive boost to accuracy and range, as well as a pretty nice boost to control. We lose a ton of mobility here, which obviously we're not trying to be mobile with this thing, but I'll tell you, man, this thing is very, very accurate from very, very long distances. So if you're playing very campy and you like to kind of sit in buildings, uh, this will be a really good SCAR class setup for you. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, the muzzle that we're going to be using is the monolithic suppressor. Like I said earlier, a very important attachment to use on anything other than a Russian class setup. With this, we're getting sound suppression as well as damage range and a nice boost to accuracy and range here. So again, the monolithic suppressor muzzle. 
The barrel that we're using is the Forge Tac 20 pound. So uh, with this, we're getting damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, and it's the best barrel that you can use when it comes to distance. So you guys will see we get an, a really, really good boost to accuracy, range, and control here. So again, that Forge Tac 20 pound. The laser that we're going to be using is none. We're leaving the laser off of this. Uh, with a defensive class setup, the laser is pretty much pointless. We don't need hip fire accuracy, so we're leaving that off. The optic that we're using is the Canted Hybrid. So I've been using this a little bit more often uh, recently. Generally, I like to use the mini reflexes. Uh, but with the Canted Hybrid, you have somewhat of a mini reflex, but you also have uh, this long distance scope that allows you to do well from very, very far uh, with a 3.25 times scout. Uh, so a really, really nice uh, sight to use here, uh, giving us a nice boost to accuracy and range. So again, the Canted Hybrid optic. That is more personal preference. If you guys have another optic that you like running, as long as it's not something ridiculous like a sniper scope, you should do well anyways. We're not going to be using a stock. The underbrow that we're using once again is that commando foregrip, giving us recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability. Keep in mind guys, with an AR like the SCAR or any AR in general, aiming stability is pretty much a useless pro and a useless con because we don't have idle sway with this thing, so you shouldn't run into a problem uh, with that if you lose it, but you're not really gaining anything if you have it as a pro. So the main purpose here is the recoil stabilization, giving us a nice boost to accuracy, range, and control. So again, the commando foregrip underbarrel. And last but not least, the ammunition that we're going to be rocking with is that 30 round mag. Again, very, very important that you save an attachment slot for this. I know some people don't really care about running extra ammunition, but this will make all the difference with this scar. If there's any weapon in this game that needs extra ammo, it's definitely going to be this weapon. So make sure you have it on. But I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific defensive scar 17 class setup. So if you guys have questions about this one, make sure to leave them down below. So now we're going to jump into the overall SCAR 17 class setup that's good for multiple play styles. Whether you like to play aggressive, whether you like to play defensive, you'll, pretty, you'll be able to do pretty well with this thing. So if you guys take a look at the stats that we're going to get with this specific class setup, you guys will see that we still get a massive boost to accuracy and range, as well as a nice boost to control, like the defensive class setup. However, we don't lose as much mobility. We, stu we still end up losing a decent amount. However, it's not as much as with the defensive class setup. So hopefully you guys will be able to do well uh, with this specific setup. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, the muzzle that we're going to be using is once again the monolithic suppressor. Always important to have on, giving us that sound suppression as well as damage range and a nice boost to accuracy and range. I notice a lot more people don't like running the monolithic suppressor and have asked in my comments a lot if it's worth it. It is 1000% worth it. It will help keep you quiet. You really don't lose anything here when it comes to that accuracy and range. So you pretty much need to run it in Warzone to really help you from giving away your spot really quick. So the monolithic suppressor muzzle. The barrel that we're going to be using is the Forge Tac 20 uh, inch or 20 pound, 20 inch pound. Gosh, can't speak. Uh, that Forge Tac 20 uh, is a really good one to go with. Obviously, this is going to give you the biggest boost to that accuracy, range, and control. And uh, and you should really always use this thing. Um, it's a really really good barrel to have on. Uh, the other option is the Forge Tac 17.2, which you guys will see essentially just takes down your accuracy and range. It gives you a small boost to mobility, uh, which really isn't worth it here in Warzone. Maybe if we're playing multi player to be a little bit different but sticking with that 20 is going to be a good barrel to rock with so that's what we're using here we're not going to be using a laser we're also not going to be using an optic so i decided because this is the overall class setup the scar has really good iron sights and it's not necessary to waste that attachment slot on an optic for the overall class setup so we can benefit by saving that and using a rear grip so we're going to leave the optic off we're also not going to be using a stock now, the underbrow that we're going to be using is once again that commando foregrip, giving us recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability and a nice boost to accuracy, uh, range, and control. Keep in mind, aiming stability is basically useless, so we're essentially just recoil stabilization in the commando foregrip underbarrel. The ammunition that we're running, once again, the 30 round mag. Always make sure you have that sucker on. Cannot stress that enough. Uh, and last but not least, the rear grip that we're going to be using is rubberized grip tape. So this is really an attachment that makes all the difference and does very, very well from long range. So we're going to be using this instead of an optic. And you guys will see that the main pro here is recoil control. And we get a really nice boost to accuracy. And I'll be honest with you, you will notice a huge difference by running this attachment when it comes to those medium to long range gunfights. I know a lot of players don't really think this is useful and won't run it. Um, but the nice thing about this attachment is it's essentially free recoil control. Because as you guys can see, the only con is aiming stability, which I just talked about being useless with no idle sway. 
So you're basically just getting a, a free boost to accuracy, a free boost to accuracy here with this rubberized grip tape. So obviously a really nice attachment to use uh, for this setup. But uh, if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about any of these class setups that I share with you in this video, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I will be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see all you guys in the next video. Can we be